For many years, Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR, has played a critical role in securing corporate endpoints. Today, we have many more users now working remotely, utilizing many different types of devices to access corporate resources, resources that can live on-premise, natively in the cloud, or even span across hybrid environments. This is why so many SOCs have uncovered the value of combining EDR capabilities with network detection and response, like the Vector Cognito platform, to augment their visibility beyond the endpoint and improve their overall security posture in these new dynamic user environments. We've gone to great lengths to make enabling EDR integrations a simple, straightforward process that can be performed natively within the Detect UI. To set up an EDR integration, click on the Edit button and then slide the on-off toggle for your selected EDR. Next, you'll enter your API credentials and click the Save button. Cognito Detect will then begin pulling the EDR for host artifacts, which are used to aid analysts in identifying hosts as they appear on the network. As threats progress and hosts begin to accumulate detection activity, having the ability to isolate those impacted hosts becomes paramount when you need to take quick action against those threats and begin the remediation process. Cognito Detect's host lockdown feature does just that. It leverages the power of our native EDR integrations to give analysts the ability to perform endpoint isolation directly from the Detect UI. As an analyst, I can now lock this endpoint from Detect's host page. This is what we refer to as a manual host lockdown. This particular host is managed by Microsoft Defender ATP. Let's assume a security investigation is underway and we need to isolate this host. So we simply click the lock host button and then specify the amount of time we wish to disable this host. You will then see that the host has been marked as manually disabled along with the user that performed the action and the timestamp that the action was performed. We've streamlined the investigation workflow allowing you to jump directly between a host detail page in Cognito Detect and the host's EDR console. These two links will point to the individual endpoint page and the all endpoints page on the EDR side. If we pivot over to Microsoft Defender, we can see that the host has now been isolated. In the event that an analyst needs to cancel host lockdown prior to the expiration of the isolation window, the host can be unlocked at any time. The host lockdown workflow is consistent across our EDR partner integrations. So your team can expect the same experience whether you're utilizing Microsoft Defender ATP, Carbon Black Response, Carbon Black Cloud, FireEye Endpoint Security, Sentinel One, or any of the many upcoming EDR integrations we have planned in the near future. The second and probably more powerful way to utilize host lockdown is via automatic enforcement. Now, this is a great way to scale up your response capabilities because it gives you an automated around-the-clock enforcement response based on a set of user-defined criteria. To enable automatic host lockdown, toggle the on-off slider and then choose the amount of time that you wish to temporarily disable hosts whenever they cross the threshold settings. The thresholds are a set of high-fidelity signals that include the host's threat score, certainty score, and observed privilege score. An ideal use case for when to use automatic host lockdown could be something like any time your SOC may be overloaded with work or during off hours when staffing may be low. Good luck and happy hunting. We hope you take advantage of our EDR integrations and incorporate manual and automatic host lockdown into your team's workflow.